Hello, welcome to my channel. It is adventure time. Backpacking season is upon us. I'd intended to go the last couple weekends, uh, but the weather was not looking awesome. In fact, it was looking bad. So, it's my first time shouldering a pack. For any of you that have seen my videos, you're probably aware that my plans constantly change. Uh, I was originally planning on going to a pretty decent cut lake that I used to go to all the time that I haven't been to in a few years. But yesterday I was talking with some guys that I know from my channel and they went to a uh, brook trout lake that I've been to a couple times in my videos. Um, and they were there for a couple days. They only caught one fish, but it was they made, weighed it and it was 3.56 pounds. So um, that's a good brook, brook trout anywhere. But for the UNS, that's an absolute monster. So I'm going back to the same spot I've been to the last couple of years. Um, not expecting to catch a lot of fish. I'm hoping to get one of those mega fatties. So going back to what has been one of my favorite brook trout lakes for geez, forever so uh got a little bit of hike of me hike ahead of me it's uh it's, there's a good chance it's gonna storm so i might get a little wet but hopefully i can get there and get camp set up before the storm rolls in so i don't know first first trip of the season so let's get going Well, I have made it. It just started to sprinkle, but actually felt pretty good. Um, there's already a few guys here. There's four cars at the trailhead. So, yeah, I can see three guys out fishing already. So, uh, I believe right along. Not too bad for an old fart like me, but I should have time to set up camp and fish for about an hour before it gets dark. I just gotta, gotta get us some firewood too, but I have made it, and hopefully I find a few big brook trout, any big brook trout, any fish at all, honestly, but I am back to one of my favorite brook trout lakes. I'll set up camp. Well, I got my tent set up, sleep bag inside it, all that ready to go. Sun has just peeked back out. I am back here. Um, since I've been here, I have not seen a, a single surface. There's just three guys on the other side of the lake, and I have not seen them catch anything. But uh, that guy I, I know from YouTube, he they only caught one. They said they saw one other fish, but it was over three and a half pounds. So I don't expect to catch a lot. Hopefully, a fish. There's at least one still alive. So I'm hoping. Just getting my rod set up right now. All right, I just saw my first surface. Clear on the other side of the lake. So I'm hoping for a big boy. I doubt there's many left. I would. I was actually just going to bypass this lake altogether because I didn't think there would be any left but apparently there are a handful of fatties left so I'm hoping to hoping to get in some um I on this trip I'm trying out a, a, a new rod I picked me up a uh Echo Lago 10 foot 5 weight I wanted a 6 weight didn't have any the reason I bought this rod is kind of funny is for the case I wanted a case I could pack in my centric my 10 foot you six uh, six weight centric and another rod like a backup rod so i figured it'd be a good idea to have a backup one that my nephew use anyway so it's the first time i'm going to try it you know it's a lower end rod but i'm sure it'll work just fine so on it i have my 25 fast sink tip and the magical bounce minnow this one's been refurbished i've had it for years and it's been magical for me for whatever reason this particular one so and then on my centric i got a a balanced leech, a straggle braid with an orange bead head, same one I used last week on a day hike. Up. And you can't see it, but a chronomy French up top. So, uh, hopefully, I get into some fish. Anyway, sun's out. It's hot now, actually. Uh, hope I get into some fish. Let's get going. All right, starting off with that balanced minnow. First time with the Echo Lago. Hopefully, it. We'll do the job. No, oh, he'll do the job. I just saw a mega fatty surface, like getting clear out of the water, like big. <laughs> Go on the other side, like I don't know if you can see the ripple or not. Oh, that's ah, that got me excited.
show them right at the rock. Oh, these nice brook trout. Very nice. Uh, for the unit, very nice. Not like as big as the one those guys caught. I got a big, oh, great logging line. Not my line. On the balance minnow. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Fish number one. That's the second bump I've had. Get down here without sliding down in the water. Come over here, buddy. Ah, uh, yes. I don't think he's he from that generation. Don't think so. I think he's a yeah, definitely newer generation. Still nice. Yeah, definitely the stocking from two years after to what I am looking for. But I'll take it. Nice brook trout. Definitely good for the UNS. I'm looking for the older generation. But I'll take what I can get. Let's let him go. Thanks, buddy. There's no way you can see it, but there's, there's a peak uh, about 60 yards from me on top of a rock. You can hear him. I switched to my centric, my midge tip. I only have two flies on. Uh, that balance leech, straggle braid with the orange bead head, and then a chronomid Frenchie up top. I just like quick point, the, I was casting that Echo Lago rod, and it's, for the price, it's actually cast pretty nice. But my first cast at this, and you go, oh, okay, there's a difference. Yeah. Uh, for all you guys, I don't know, I'm sure you've heard of the Scott Centric, but it's flipping amazing. It just launches line. It's awesome. Love it. I don't know, if you watch my videos, I think it's probably easy to assume that I love this. Ugh. I love the backcountry stuff. The UN is. And it's been coming here since I was a kid. My dad, I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. Finally got a bump on the midge tip. It was a pretty solid whack, but it did not stick. I'm losing the sun, so it's another couple minutes and I gotta go gather some firewood and pump some water. I'm not doing a whole lot, anything special for dinner tonight. I was gonna do bacon wrap butter cheddars, but I forgot to freeze them. I didn't forget to bring them, I forgot to freeze them. So I'm just gonna do a dehydrated meal. Oh, well, that is it. I only landed the one. I did, on the minnow I had two other bumps, one for sure, one might've been bottom, and then I had really solid tug on the midge tip. I don't know if it was the chronomid Frenchie or the straggle braid leech, but uh, I did to get it kind of early tomorrow and I'm supposed to storm later in the afternoon so I'll probably pack up camp and then just fish till it rains until it gets bad um and now it's time for food I, I gotta get some firewood so here we can gather some firewood and then eat I need to pump some water so I'm hungry this is on the menu for tonight um ready wise are you know cheaper than the other dehydrated meals I tried their breakfast skill and I I gotta be honest it's bad like bad but this, this chili mac I've had a couple times. It's pretty dang good. So uh, this one's definitely worth the money. So that's what I'm having tonight. Well, it is campfire time slash food slash tunes. It's one of my favorite parts about backpacking camping. Campfire, it's good food. Packing a soda. Listen to some tunes. You gotta love campfire time. Good morning. It is morning. Um, I've been using the same sleeping bag since, like, geez, 2007. It is time for a new bag. It's a, it was a 15 degree bag, but it no longer insulates nearly. So I had to put my jacket on in the middle of the night. That's not, wasn't that cold the night. So once I put my jacket on, I was fine. I slept pretty good. So it is morning. I'm gonna hurry and boil me up some water and eat some oatmeal, and then we'll get at it with the fishing. So yeah hungry oatmeal time let's do it well it is finally go time um i started to get a gnarly headache so i took some excedrin and went back to bed for an hour so now i'm out uh i'll start off with my midge tip the mega orange scut on the bottom my mid fly is a all of a zebra demon which is essentially a you know a damsel nymph i saw a couple cruising the shoreline when i was walking over here and up top 
the magical chronomet Frenchie. All right, let's get going. Man, I should have brought a different color of hoodie shirt, whatever you want to call them, these anetic shirts. It's roasting hot in the sun, there's no wind, so it's pretty toasty. I switched up to a very slow retrieve, my very first cast doing that. I hooked up. Don't know what he's on, he's decent. Oh, that was a good fish. Deep. I think he's, yeah, he's on the, the all the zebra, oh, a big fish. On the all the zebra demon. I've seen several cruise by. I might put that as my point, but I do, this is a good fish. Yeah, nice fish, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you can't even see it. The big old, oh, big fat brook trout. This is what I was after. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a big, for the unit of that is a, mar oh my gosh. That is an absolute freaking beast for the UNAs. Yes. So that is a nice brook trout anywhere. For the UNAs, that's a monster. Yes. I'm so happy. On the old zebra demon. I think I'm going to switch my bottom fly to a balanced damsel. So I'll have two damsels out cruising. Nice. Put them in my little spot. Keep them alive. For the UNAs, that is an absolute tank. Yeah, he's, he's heavy. Oh, happy about that. On the all the zebra demon, which is just a damsel style nymph. The normal is tied in black, but this this one I tied in all of. I'm gonna switch to another damsel. I've seen quite a few damsels <coughs> cruising the shoreline, so I'm gonna throw on a balanced damsel on the bottom and, and cruise, do that for a bit. Very happy about that. That nice thick brook trout. Hi you in is not boulder. Nice. And let's let this mega fatty go. Oh man, so happy. It was just a tank, tank, tank of a brook trout. Go away, buddy. Thank you, man. Oh, geez. Let's do that again. We get a couple more of those guys. Oh, that was fun. Dumped the mega orange skin and threw on this little bounce damsel for the, that'll be my point five. So, essentially, you'll find with two damsel nymphs, different styles. So. Yeah, I've seen I've seen quite a few damsels cruising the shoreline, so it's probably the way to go. Back in the game. Oh, that was that was awesome. Ah, oh, so fun. I'm kind of surprised there's no surface action. There's so many like flying ants on the water, like a ton. Let's see, the lava of them right there. I don't know if you can see how many, there's like six. Three stuck together and two right next to it. There's, if you can see how many ants there are on the water, like, there's a ton. It's kind of nuts. Like a lot. Yeah. I just missed one about that same size. It's actually kind of toward the surface, like just a second after it hit the water. Got off right when I got my camera on, so I don't think I got any of it, but it was only on for a split second, but it was a good one. And if the, if the fish were in ant mode, there's so many ants on the water, it's ridiculous. Well, it is break time. I mean, I've gone over two hours straight with not a single bump. I saw a really big one eat an ant right by my right by me. But there's dozens of ants, so you only ate one. Um, quick snack, get a drink. I've, I've switched up to several different things. I'm going to put on a fast sinking scout on the bottom with a point five on my midge tip for a bit. I put on a leech, a minnow, and a damsel on my fasting tip, and like I said, for about two hours, nothing. So I'm going to keep trying. You know, there's some big fish in here, and that's what I'm here for. So, it's by, you know, it's a numbers game. You know, you're not going to catch anything if your line's not in the water. So, let's keep at it. Oh, man. I put on a fasting king scub. I think he is on the damsel again. Yep. On the, all the zebra demon. Nice brook trout. Just a very slow retrieve, the fingers crawl. Another nice brook trout. Not as big as that last one, but it's nice. Oh, 
Uh, this quad. Not fast hatching by any means, but where the U is that is these are nice brook trout. Very, very nice. Another nice guy. They're fat in here. About the same generation. I think it's like two years younger than the, the big one. But I'm happy about that. It's only fish number three. I've had a handful of takes. Not fast action, but nice. Let's let this guy go. Fat brook trout and how you win is. Alright, let's let this chunky guy go. Another healthy brook trout. Ah, oh, very nice. That is solid. Let him go. Sorry, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. On. Try that again. Mega, mega sucks. I just hooked one bigger than the first one I caught on the fast sinking scud, right? As I was rolling up the cast again, went down, I got caught, and I had to, had to break off. Got underneath the rye, you can probably see it. Gosh dang it. It was, it was right in front of me. I threw on this uh, the original black zebra demon on as my dropper. Probably switch back to a scud, but I uh, thought I'd try it, why not? So, give that a whirl. So, basically, I have two damsel nymphs, two, a black and an olive. Oh, poop, I just missed another one, and I have been over an hour since I've had a bump. I've dropped my, uh, I got rid of my fasting tip one, put on my floating line, put on a bionic ant with a little tiny ice cream cone chronomid for the dropper. You can see more fish surface. Not out here where all the bugs are right along the, you know, bank out about 20, 30 feet. So I'm going to try this for a minute. There's one surface twice right along the bank. I cast, I cast it close and it spooked him. It has not been a fast action day, but that's what I expected that. Uh, only landed three and had a handful of others, you know, takes, whatever. I got about another half hour to fish and I got to pack up and go. Tomorrow I got family stuff going on, so... Just getting some miles on my legs, prepared for a mega trek in the winds, going after goldens in geez, like a week and a half or so. I doubt you can see it because there's no zoom, but there is an insane amount of bugs on the water. Like, just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so many. It's ridiculous. Man, if you're fishing, you can just eat like a, a basking shark. <laughs> just took the goodie. Dang it. It's been a long time since I've even had a bump. It was like, tug, 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 and then off. Shoot. Hey, what is he on? He's on the zebra demon. Actually, I put on another olive one at the bottom, but my midfly is the one that gets all the love. It's fatty, not the not the old old generation, but nice thick. I'm happy about that. Finally, man, it has been a bit. Where's my net? <laughs> Slide and oh, like that. Slide all the way through. Shoot, that's sketchy. If he stays on, there's only fish number four. But I've had several bumps, but he's a fella. Oh, this guy's fat. Yep. Oh man, he's a little football. Come here, dude. Oh shoot. You can't see him. See him in hard time. There you go. Yeah, that's a football. Not terribly long and thick. thick. Not terribly long. But he is meaty. He's thick. Ah, so much fun. Always. Not been, not hasn't been a fast action day, I've only four, but yeah. Very nice. Let's let him go. And let's let this little fatty go. 
Yeah, nice. Come on, but I'm trying to watch you out. It's one way. Oh, not that way. There you go. Thank you. Man, nice, fun. I don't have a whole lot of time left, but I had back to back fish on, so I'm going to keep fishing. Again, I took the all zebra demon, uh, damsel, it's a damsel pattern, but it's, they won't take the drop, they've taken my mid fly every time. It's weird. Shoot, I just missed another one. And I've had more action in the last five minutes than I've had the rest of the day. <laughs> it's not true, but like, yeah, like three takes just in the last handful of casts. It was literally my last cast. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go. And gotta take on hey the bottom. He took the bottom. Zebra demon this time. Another fatty. Yeah. If he stays on, it'll be fish number five. Oh yeah, he's another sticky thick guy. Ah, oh, fun. This is gonna be it. Oh, see my line's all jacked up. And he's heavy. He's strong. Well, man, he's thick. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um. For any of you guys that fish the UNS, you'll, yeah, you'll appreciate how big these are. Oh, that's a big guy. Oh, that's a big guy. That's the biggest one. Oh, and it just came out. Oh, geez. That is an absolute tank. Biggest one yet. That is a, yeah, he's heavy, heavy. That guy is just flat out heavy. Oh, man. Awesome. Way to end the trip. That is a tank of a brook trout. I'd be happy with that on Boulder, like stoked. And that is in the high Uintas. Very, very nice. This is an absolute tank of a brook trout for the high Uintas. That's a monster. That thing is heavy. Yeah, I took a Vishway Damsel pattern, a all the zebra demon. Oh, so happy about that. It was literally gonna get my last cast. The Glenmore cast, he took it like pretty close to shore, so I'm stoked about that. Just let him go. Oh, check that guy out. That guy's enough to make me want to come back sometime this summer. Uh, that guy's uh, in my top 10 you win a brook trout, oh, you know, for my entire life. You know? I, I have, man, awesome. Big old nice thick brook trout. So happy. Let's let him go. Thank you so much. Big old fatty. Woohoo. Yes. Oh, that is it as far as the fishing goes. That was awesome. Uh, literally my last cast. But yeah, last cast, I gotta go. He took it like maybe 10 feet out from the shore. Uh, just fat. Heavy, 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 thick. So very excited about that. Very happy, awesome way to end it off. Uh, ended up landing a total of five fish and that was the biggest one. I had one of them that was close to that. Well, not quite as big, but that was awesome for the UN is that's a, that's an absolute toad for up here so happy about that so i gotta pack up and then man, i have got family stuff going on but awesome way to finish off the fishing I'm so happy about that one that's what i was getting eats on today um the original pattern i call i call it the zebra demon i tie them black with silver i used to do really with those a bit if you tie them all but it just looks just like a damsel nymph and I saw a few this morning, so that's what I was getting most of the takes on. So, yeah, just an old zebra demon or a damsel nymph, whatever you want. So, it's, I just tie it with a like little lead eyes, and then I put all of fingernail polish over, and I use a a flat orange wire, and it's just a a peacock curl and olive, and a little bit of marabou for the tail, and a little gold uh, flash the length of the tail. So, super simple pattern, but yeah been very productive for me so well I'm all packed up ready to hit the trail uh, super slow like always I actually 
pack some of my stuff first thing this morning before I went fishing, and it still took me forever because I'm slow. But I get the trek out and the drive home. It was, it was fun, a lot of fun. Those fish were fat. Yeah, for the UNS, top quality. That last one I caught is definitely one of the better brook I've ever caught in the UNS. Mega fat. It was fun. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to actually come back sometime this summer. Try to get some more of those fatties. So. Now I get the trek out and a long drive home. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a good time. I love backpacking this time of year. Uh, got the, got two, like two and a half months that you can hit the high country. So looking forward to some more backpacking trips, including a big trek in the winds here in about 10 days or so. So appreciate you watching. Give it a thumbs up. You know, like, subscribe. Get out and fish. Till next time.